So welcome back to Ego, the skill provider, and uh, specifically, hearty welcomes to all the new joinees, urban culture, other things like you know, those who have already joined with us. And basically, today we are focusing something called how to structure a compound sentence, right? How to structure a compound sentence. Okay. So our topic for today is compound sentence. Okay, so this is the things I'm going to teach you. That's quite interesting because you guys are facing a lot of problems whenever you're trying to, you know, use these kind of sentences, okay? And I know most of the time you are making mistakes also, but let me tell you, I'm going to give you some, you know, I'm going to share some tricks and tips also how exactly you can form compound sentence. First, try to understand if you uh, tell me the structure wise, the sentence are of three types. One is called simple sentence. One is called simple sentence. The second one is called compound sentence. And the third one is called complex sentence. And believe me, I am not teaching about grammar here. Grammar is not required. I'm just, you know, analyzing everything from the spoken English point of view. One is called written English, other is called spoken English. They are completely different from each other. Spoken English, written English, say anything. Okay. So today, what exactly I'm going to tell you? Something called simple sentence, compound sentence, and complex sentence. So what is simple sentence? Suppose you can say, I am teaching. Okay. So this is something called the example of a, I am teaching. So this is the example of a simple sentence. What is the example of a compound sentence? You can say, Peter and Jill are going to market. So this is called a compound sentence, okay? I'll tell you why, okay? And the third one is called complex sentence. The person who is standing at the corner is my brother. So this is something called, who is standing at the corner is my brother, is called complex sentence. Okay, so that is very important. Something called simple sentence, upon the contu, most of the time I've already informed you, upon the first time you are trying to speak English, you are supposed to keep everything simple. Kangina upon English, right? So you have to keep everything very simple. And that is something called simple sentence. Like, no, I am going there. Will you come? Like that, a very simple sentence you have to make if you want to be very fluent. Okay. So that was the, you know, uh, something called tips and uh, I have shared with you. Initially, you about English. For the first time, you are trying to speak something and to make error for English. You are supposed to say something called simple sentence. Upon go simple sentence. Okay. But as you grow up, it's not like that every time you are trying to speak, you know, simple sentence. You are supposed to speak compound sentence also. Okay. So suppose Peter and Jill are going to market. Here, something called and is there. And this is called a conjunction. This is called a conjunction. So what do you understand? To make compound sentence, you need a conjunction. So today, our focus is on how to make a compound sentence using conjunction. Okay, so this is the topic for today. And this is very complex sentence. The person who is standing at the corner is my brother. Like once you become very fluent in English and you know a lot of things about English. So obviously that time you can speak a lot of complex sentence. 
right so i i don't have any problems with telling that simple sentence apan abe simple sentence kichhi kahu chanti sir may i ask a question simple sentence sir may i come in simple sentence right and some extent you are also using compound sentence apan use korchu the and or but if i using all the things feel that that you are using or you are you know making compound sentence jo the conjunction na chide je trick for you i am going to share wherever there is a conjunction there is a compound sentence so most people are also very habituated making compound sentences but the problem is that you guys are making mistake apan mane sei mistake kar dau chanti so today our topic is that how to make error free compound sentence ame jete sabu rules and regulation achi i am going to discuss some things okay and this comes under structure mo kahi thil already those who have already attended some of the fundamental classes there are so many things are there one is called structure the second one is called collocation the third one is called vocabs and the fourth one is called practice and the fifth is called spoken english right so the first thing i want to tell you this is compound sentence how to make a compound sentence that means i want to tell you guys this is all about how to make compound sentence using conjunction the so conjunction use kari ki first you should know what are various conjunction are available apana uh, let me tell you a little bit in oriya because a lot of new guys joinees has already you know joined with us one is called and apana and gote byabahar korchanti or gote byabahar korchanti otherwise byabahar korchanti wherever you apana byabahar korchanti when upon a vyavahar korchanti while vyavahar korchanti and you also uh, you are using also although though all the things for since these are called conjunction right these are called conjunctions and sometimes you know that's very important also how exactly they you know they be uh, they will be placed in a sentence what a sentence re tanku kemti vyavahar kariba that's very important otherwise that will not be error of english aji ame start kariba that how to make compound sentence okay so there are so many conjunction available but i am going to give you 27 conjunction a gote class re sorry bani it may take three more classes but it is very important kai ki the first chapter is over simple sentence apan banai paru chanti i am sure because i have already spoken to most of the guys who are very good at making simple sentences but whenever it comes to compound sentences you guys are making a you know a lot of mistakes and that is not desirable whenever you are trying to speak english most of the people are trying to you know our teachers some are trying to you know get a promotion in your job or some are trying to get something out of your job or you are trying to face an interview so in that particular things you are supposed to speak error free english remember whenever you are trying to speak nobody is trying to understand what exactly your content everybody is looking at your body language the your context level jodi apan eta thik re jani na thibe आपण तो समस्त कंपाउंड सेटेन्स बनाऊँ आपण आंड लगो अदरवाइज लगो अल दो लगो दो लगो इवन इफ लगो इवन दो लगो दिज आर कल कंजक्शन नट ओनली बट ओल्स लगो बट से परिस्थिति यूज करवा वी आर गोईंग टू आप्लाय समथिंग कल्ड एस बी एल टेक्निक ओके दिस इज अ कम्प्लीटली फंडामेंटाल क्लास पूरा रिलैक्स हो जातु बिकज टुडे आई एम गोईंग टू गिव यू द वेरी निटिग्रिटी अफ कंजक्शन आपड़ जहाँ भी कंजक्शन पढ़ी थे आगु आप तो निश्चय पढ़ी थे लाइक आप एंड पढ़ी और पढ़ी बट पढ़ी लाइक इन अल्द थिंग्स यू हाव गन थ्रू लिटिल बिट ओके एंड यू फिल दैट दैट इज ओनली रिक्वयर्ड फर स्पोकन रिट इन कम्युनिकेशन नो नट एक्जाक्टली दिस इज अल्सो वेरी मच रिक्वयर्ड इन कंपाउंड सेन्टेन्सेस एंड यू आर सपोज टू स्पीक अ लड अफ कंपाउंड सेन्टेन्सेस without compound sentence your sentence structures will not be complete kai ki na apan jete advanced speaker adu gati karibe apan simple sentence ru compound sentence ko asyo pai padibo you are you are supposed to come out of this simple sentence simple sentence apan life sara use kari paribe ni you are supposed to be little bit fluent also so you are supposed to you know apan manakar ka sath gote katha arta hochanti every time it is not desirable also sometimes you are supposed to you are forced to make some compound sentence the compound sentence तैयारी करिया पे हले इफ यू वांट टू मेक अ कंपाउंड सेंटेंस यू आर सपोज्ड टू नो सम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन सो इट इज नॉट अबाउट द ग्रामर रूल एंड रेगुलेशन मो ऑलरेडी कह दे छी आमे ग्रामर केवल रिटन क्लास रे पढिबा आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टीच यू ग्रामर हियर ग्रामर इज नॉट एन एसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ स्पोकन इंग्लिश वी हैव टू मोर रूल्स आदे वन इज कॉल्ड एसबीएल टेक्निक 
and the second one is called collocation the two things are equal mu jodi apan ko bot kahibi mu apan ko apply kar debi sbl technique ko thi jagar mu eta use karibi that's you are supposed to know that if you know the situation you can use it why you need the rules grammar is required so no rules will be given here only things that i am going to tell you the various sbl technique apan ko already kahi dechi sbl stands for situation based learning apan se particular conjunction ta ko situation re use karibi that's more important and that is what exactly the point where you want to speak english apan jodi english kahibe obviously you are supposed to know the exact situation those who have already with me for 3 months 4 months 5 months or those who have already joined they might have checked out some of our videos on youtube and also in our app apan janichanti ame gote particular technique upare focus karanti that is something called sbl technique so today our focus is how to make sentence compound sentence using sbl technique ame sbl technique use kore i am not going to tell you rules and regulation let me tell you very frank those who are very afraid of grammar they should be very happy okay kai ki na mu already koi chi the way you are trying to approach to make sentence in uh, i mean uh, in spoken english is entirely different from spoken english kai na written english spoken english data two parts of one is northern hemisphere other is called southern hemisphere of the globe okay to prithvi ra jana jodi mane uttar hela a gote dakhana meru तेणु दे आर नट इक्वाल एट अल ओके सो आप जो स्पोकन इंग्लीश उपर आलोचना कर सो टुडे आउ टपिक इज समथिंग कल्ड कंपाउंड सेंटेंस हाउ टू मेक कंपाउंड सेंटेंस यूजिंग कंजक्शन आम कंजक्शन यूज करेरीयस कंपाउंड सेन्टेन्स यूज करवा ओके सो दिस् आवर इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट मुझे आज इंट्रोडक्शन दूसरी बिकज लड अफ थिंग्स आई एम गोईंग टू टेल यू एंड दिस् इज क्वैट इंटरेस्ट अल्सो कहीं देखी बिकज आई हाव अलरेडी आई हाव द फ्यूचर और आई हाव द अपर्चुनिटी to talk with so many guys all the new and the old uh, guys so i know it's okay when we are trying to make simple sentence upon the tole simple sentence theory kari kuanti it looks very pretty or oh, i enjoy listening to it but whenever it comes to uh, compound sentence though you feel that you are making uh, error free english but you are not making that mistakes i mean uh, a sentence correctly some or other way upon tike bhul kar dianti to se bhul na hoba dokar mu kahi chi already like we are supposed to focus on four things one is called error free english the first one this is called four dimensional error free english you are supposed to speak error free english you are supposed to speak english confidently you are supposed to speak english i mean fluently and naturally charita jinsu apan ko hoba dokar jodi error free english nahi tale apan confidence asibo nahi if the confidence asuni you are not supposed to speak it fluently if you are not speaking fluently then natural uh, things will not come out okay so our topic for today is something called how to use compound sentence using conjunction okay the compound sentence kariya pai hele we need something called conjunction we need something called conjunction ame conjunction use kariba so you might be thinking sir what are rules are there there will be 20 like you know 27 conjunctions i am going to teach you and all rules are entirely different no i am not going to tell you something called rules and regulation i am going to tell you using sbl technique we are going to apply sbl technique apan ko sbl technique use kariba sbl stands for situation based learning okay so let's try to find out mo gote very basic jin sur start karuchi apan mane janchan the wh words So what are double H words? Let me take three different double H words. One is called what. Second is called how. And third is called where. Or uh, or another. Look, let let me. Uh, it's for better for your betterment. Let me take when. When how and where. Ten time no ba. Suppose we are. Going to take the different things. Upon the key portion, the one is called when, how, and where. So when is a double H word, though how is not included, but itself it shows a double H word. And where is also a double H word. Double H word, my meaning on why exactly we are learning double H word because we are learning double H word to make sentences or to make question. to make questions to make question kariya pai when and how and where look 
Here is something called when. It's used for time. Like you are using for time. When did you come? Suppose, let me give an example. When did you come today or when did you come yesterday? This is a question. Okay, look. When did you come yesterday? That means you are asking for the time. When did you join? When did you start the class? Okay, so here, double H word. Look, our question is not double H word. Whatever the things I'm going to give you to make you understand from the very beginning. So don't lose your ad. Something to add you. So we are learning something called compound sentence using conjunction. Okay. So a WH water is a conjunction conjunction, So that's why I'm going to tell you that. So this is called when is used for time. When did you come yesterday? So obviously you are trying to tell you the time. So it is for you are asking for the time. I request everybody please mute it. Please request everybody. Okay. The next one is called How did you do this work? How did you do this work? How did you come? How did you pass the exam? So here you are asking about the manner something has been done. You are asking about the manner something has been or way. Manner or way. Upon where Chahunchanti Jin Shoda Hai, you are asking like this. How did you pass the exam? Oh, boss, there was a strike. How did you come? Don't you upon go to Sangagote, Aji strike, right? There is a complete down to dusk strike. Upon the Sango Gardenic of she, the upon the Kukemtikovi, if he is an Englishman, he doesn't know Uriya. Even how did you come? Today is a hurtle. Today is a strike. There's all in the strike. How did you come? So you want to know exactly the way he come to you. And something called where. Where is used for place. Okay. So since where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? So this is, you are asking about the place. Okay. So when, and how, and where, they are called WH words and they are used to make questions. They are used to make questions or frame questions. On a good question, they are going to be able to ask questions. But right now, do you know they are also used as a conjunction? You might have not known. Say, I am going to ask questions. Believe me, these are also used as conjunction in a sentence. And how to use them a conjunction? And if you use conjunction, you can use it. As you can see, you can use it. Whatever the WH words, let me take you three different words, when and how and where. These are called WH words. And you ask any boy, any girl, any teachers throughout the world, they will tell you, yes, sir, these are called WH words. How to make or frame questions. Right? And these are the things I have some examples. But my question is that can these words can be used as conjunction in a sentence? If yes, how will they will be used? That's interesting. That's very interesting. They come to Mukichu Udia Ru English to translation of Takuni Mu situation create code. I'm trying to create situation. Suppose upon upon Sangoku Pachor Santi, you are trying to. When did you come yesterday? Taku upon the Udia Pachor, we obviously count out Kuibe, Tomaketolaslo, Tomaketolaslo. Like that you can say. Ta Purburu upon Gute, Jania Pencha, you are supposed to know something. Mu Janiva Kuchamunchi, Tomaketolas. Purburu upon what a word logabe, Mujaniba Kuchahunchi, Tome Kenti Koloita. Suppose you ask your friend, How did you pass the exam? Or how did you do this? Look, upon what a Montegote Sangokor Jijota very difficult. The Kori Pariba Kotanu, Kendu Kordichi, how exactly you are going to ask him? You can say, My friends, this work is, you know, looks very, you know, it's not an easy task for you. But how did you complete this task? How did you complete this task? Obviously, upon the Pacharanti. But the Purburu, upon question of Pacharaki, upon MTV Pacharanti, Motati again Kohibiki. Upon Kuchanti, a Rastata Kodajai. Right? Can I just go to that particular place? But upon the Doyakarimata Kohibiki upon Kimti Asile, the Purburu upon sentence Shalaganti, Doyakarimata Kohibiki. So, how exactly are you going to express the same in the sentence? Okay, so let me try one by one. 
when did you come yesterday that is used for time look this is used for time okay so right now i am trying to use as a conjunction when tak mu conjunction is have use karvi and it's pretty easy and also you know how exactly we can use it just check it out i would like to know when you came yesterday look at the sentence i would like to know when you look when is a conjunction look i would like to know here is one clause one sentence or one clause this is another clause and you are trying to you know compound two sentence this is a compound sentence using when who came yesterday look when did you come yesterday this is the question this is the question apan eta question pacharchan right but ta purbaru apan emti pacharibe mu janiva ku chahunchi apan kemti aschanti to mu janiva ku chahunchi i would like to know to exactly how how the sentence will be changed when you came yesterday let me give you the second example how did you do this work this is the question mark suppose apan tanku pacharvi could you please tell me tell me how you did this work so this is how when how and where it is used in a sentence sentence are kemti use huchi dekhun to just check it out so this is called compound sentence apan you you use a lot of compound sentence but you are using it very wrongly most of the time apan mate kahu chanti like you no know, i don't want to name you suppose apan kon sare eta kemti hala how this particular things happens but again mate ko sir mate tie kahibe ki kemti hala will you tell me how it happened kintu apan kon ki how did it happen puni apan eita kahu chanti again you are writing this sentence then both are wrong you have to take it correctly so whenever you are using any wh words it it converts into a positive sentence look at the things when did you come yesterday this is a question but ta purbaru apan lagale i would like to know mo janiwa ku chahunchi apan kali ke tala asthile i would like to know when you came yesterday when you came yesterday look when only thing is that you have to bring that conjunction and you came yesterday that is something called a affirmative sentence a positive sentence it's not a question mark so i would like to know when you came yesterday when did you come yesterday if i am making it a affirmative sentence or positive sentence i have to make it you came yesterday like that i have to say how did you do this work would you please tell me how you did this work this is called question because could you is there based on this first sentence you are going to this is completely a, a you know it is a statement or you can say it is a normal statement or it is a positive sentence there is no question mark but here i put it put it tell me did you do this I request everybody could you please mute it okay so right now what i exactly understand the wh words can be used as conjunction in a sentence but the wh word lagibo sei samare second sentence ta mane wh word par jo ta raibo that becomes a positive sentence there will not be question mark take it out how did you do this work would you please tell me how then this how becomes here how did you do this work you did this work if i am just putting it this one positive sentence did you do this work you did this work like that so like that suppose you can say where did you go yesterday i would like to know where you went yesterday so this is something called how wh words are used in conjunction conjunction re wh word kemti use hue do you understand right now everybody you can ask me questions because this is very important you guys are making a lot, lot of mistakes here forget about uh, you know there are so many conjunctions are there what else even if even though either or 
neither nor that is there some rules and regulations there you might have known it and i to also give you some sbl technique but bartavan question of ji whenever you are trying to win how and apan bo na ti apan sang manu ko chanti je mu jani pare ki tumhe kali ketle lai tu chhadlo may i know when you left this place apan ko ko chanti may i know when you, when did you leave this place wrong the sentence is completely wrong because once you are trying to make a clause here ta purbar gote clause lagile ei sentence ta that will be completely a positive sentence you can study not when did you come study it will be completely positive sentence look at the thing suppose apan mate pachari bije sir first question ella suppose mate some of you like anybody suppose mate apan pachari bije sir how did you master spoken english how did you master spoken english let me put it here for you okay i am putting it here how did you master spoken english so this is the things you are going to ask me okay it upon good question is around the pachatale right it's normal question okay how did you master spoken english सपोज आपठी गल लगे सर एक्चुअली आम समस्त जानवा को चाहूँ आपटा केमती कले सो ओविययसली पूर्व रहा आम जानवा चाहूँ वी वुड लाइक टू नो हाउ हाउ दे यू मस्टर्ड बिकज रीड इज देर सो हि द भब इज मस्टर्ड मस्टर्ड स्पोकन इंग्लीश हाउ यू मस्टर्ड spoken english that is how you are supposed to think this is something called using wh words as conjunction wh word empty conjunction use kara jay because whenever you are trying to use at a conjunction the second sentence will be a positive sentence it will not be a question mark again irrespective of the could you please tell me apan empty padan sir tike daya kari kahibe ki apan kemte eta kalle So there are two questions mark, but the second question, like how you did this, not how you how did you do? No, wrong. Could you please tell me? Could you please tell me or tell us how you mastered spoken English? How you mastered spoken English, right? So whether it is you know shin or any things like that, the outcome depends upon the first clause, not the second one, because conjunction. is there the conjunction for a wh word for a set as well a positive sentence is you there are so many instances i have seen it you guys are making a lot of mistakes there apan de emti koi dou chanti apan kali ketle asle how did you come yesterday or when did you come yesterday but puni aji mat dhoron to apan mat gote question pachari sir aji ketle class start hobo it is a future time you are going to ask sir when will the class starts today right er question ela to apan mat seat dekhebe सर टे दयाकोरी कहपर कि आज के क्लास स्टार्ट हम सो टू क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट लाइक कुड यू प्लीज टेल मी व्हेन द क्लास विल स्टार्ट इफ आर टेलिंग लाइक दिस देन इट इज रॉन्ग व्हेन द क्लास विल स्टार्ट व्हेन द क्लास विल स्टार्ट नॉट व्हेन विल द क्लास स्टार्ट लाइक दैट यू हैव टू मेक इट ए सेंटेन्स ओके हाउ यू मस्ट गेट स्पोकन इंग्लीश तो हाउ जस्ट लाइक यूज एज ए कंजक्शन इट डजन हाव मैटर तो ये आप कौन यूज कर मैटर बट लुक एट द थिंग्स यू मस्टर्ड स्पोकन इंग्लीश हाउ यू मस्टर्ड स्पोकन इंग्लीश बट यूर लुक एट द्वेश्चन यस 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 आस्मी आस्मी सर आस्मी नाउ यू यू गॉट इट नाउ यू गॉट इट इट इज क्लियर एवरीबडी हाज पचर बुझीपरी अपन ये बुझी पाइले डू यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड्स आर यूज एज अ कंजक्शन इन अ सेंटेंस यस सर एवरीबॉडी 
एवरीबॉडी आई वांट टू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चंस टू एवरीबॉडी समस्त मते आंसर दियंतु आई जस्ट वांट टू नो एवरीबॉडी चिमय बाबू सूर्यकांत सर रोजलन मैम हितेश मैम एवरीबॉडी भवानी शंकर सर एवरीबॉडी यस सर यस सर इफ यू डोंट इट ओके इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड आस्क मी राइट अवे बिकॉज़ दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर्स एंड यू गाइस आर मेकिंग मिस्टेक यू गाइस आर मेकिंग मिस्टेक दिस इज द थिंग कहेंगे ना अपन एटे क्वेश्चन पोचर छंती अगेन यू आर ट्राइंग सेकंड टाइम यू आर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज व्हाई मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स इन कंपाउंड सेंटेंस रे अपन जतल कहू छंती एवरीथिंग गॉन फॉर अ टॉस फॉरगेट अबाउट नॉर्मल जोडा कंजक्शन अछि देयर सो मेनी कंजक्शन सा दे इवन इफ इवन दो नॉट ओनली बट आल्सो इदर और नीदर नॉर लाइक लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर यू आर मेकिंग मिस्टेक आल्सो यू आर मेकिंग मिस्टेक इन डबल एच वर्ड्स बिकॉज़ समटाइम्स यू यू बिकम वेरी अपोलॉजेटिक टू आस्क सम क्वेश्चंस टू अ बॉस देखो तो आपन को बॉस को आपन पचार परिवेन जे सर काले सपोज यू आर आस्किंग मी अ क्वेश्चन यू आर मी अ क्वेश्चन सर काले क्लास अछि कि वेद देयर विल बी एनी क्लास टुमारो किंतु एटा आपन मते क्वेश्चन करि पचार सर मु जाने परे किछि क्लास अछि ओबवियसली आपन आउ गोटे जिंस लगे दउ छथि इनिशियली टू शो मी रिस्पेक्ट टू शो योर रिस्पेक्ट टुवर्ड्स मी सो दैट पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन रे आपन केमती यूज करि दैट्स मोर इंपोर्टेंट आपन एमती कहउ छथि लाइक नो आपन संग कहउ छथि लाइक नो लाइक नो आज गोटे हरता लै छि दे इज स्ट्राइक आपन संग आसी गेल आपन कोन संग मते कहिबो कि केम तमे आसीलो बिकॉज़ सब बार त हरताल थिला सो एटी आपन कहउ छथि जे मते कहिबो कि will you tell me how you came here not how did you come if you are not asking any questions before that taku jodi apan total you are taking it out tar kichhi problem nahi but if you are not taking it out you want to say something look you are trying to i would like to know could you please tell me like that you are using a lot of times that is called spoken english you are not directly asking question are you no you add some extra things here before that लाइक दैट अपन एमती कोन नंती सर एटा केमती हल्ला आउथरे मते टिके बुझे देबे की डायरेक्ट कहउछंती अपन यू आर नॉट टेलिंग लाइक ए सेंटेंस अपन कहिबे मते सर एटा केमती हल्ला एमती अपन कोन नंती सर एटा केमती हल्ला मते टिके बुझे देबे की विल यू मेक मी अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट हैपेंड नॉट हाउ डिड इट हैपन हाउ इट हैपेंड सो लाइक दैट यू हैव टू बिकॉज़ यू आर एडिंग समथिंग बिफोर द वेदर इट इज अ क्वेश्चन इट इज अ स्टेटमेंट डजंट मैटर Here, when the if I mean double H words is there, so after that the sentence will be positive. All the sentence will be positive. Look at the things when you came yesterday. But upon go question, I would like to know when did you come yesterday? That's wrong. That's completely wrong. So that is some which one? Ask me, sir. Prakash, sir, ask me because I cannot check it out. I am right now on the board. I cannot check it out in the rating. Ask me what exactly you want to tell me. क्वेश्चन मते पचारो तो आई कैन राइट इट देयर फॉर बेनिफिट ऑफ अदर्स आस्क मी सर प्रकाश सर व्हाट यू हैव रिटन इट हियर आई हैव नॉट चेकड इट आउट लुक आई हैव अ प्रॉब्लम सेलेक चेकिंग दिस वन ओके वुड यू प्लीज टेल मी व्हाई यस्टरडे फंडामेंटल क्लास इज नॉट देयर नो 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 द सेंटेंस गॉन गॉन फॉर इट आउट सर अपन यस्टरडे लगेले ना तो यस्टरडे ता कोन कहिथिले यस्टरडे इज समथिंग कॉल्ड ए वुड यू प्लीज टेल मी Why yesterday fundamental is not there? अच्छा ये जो है ना वाज़ हो? वाज़ सर वाज़ 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 हो वाज़ हो बताले Could you please tell me why no fundamental class was there? Yesterday you can put it last. What is yesterday? Yesterday is not a subject, my dear friends. I have told you many times. Don't use yesterday at the beginning of a sentence. Today is my bad day. How can you say like this? No, no, yesterday. sir. It is my, it is my yeah. birthday today. My birthday today. So yesterday the call. Yesterday also today. Yesterday these are called adverb of time. So time to kitel logbe at the end of the sentence. So you can say, could you please tell me why no class was conducted yesterday? Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes or no, sir. So that is how you have to tell. You have to ask the question. Could you please tell me? why no class was conducted no fundamental class was conducted yesterday yesterday day for yesterday last day last night last month last year all the things always use at the end of the sentence as a rule rule a thumbs rule okay because if not using that then it it is gone for a toss because again you are making the same mistake on mistake kor chanti today is my birthday today is my son's birthday and that is a mistake 
the mistake lies there you have a tendency you guys are using every time today i am going there no i am going there today why can't you say like this i am going there today but aji mo jibi dekhon odia re dekhon kem ti apan mind circulate karuchi aji mo seta jibi ago mo seta ko jibi aji apan kon nanti odia re to odia ta dem ti apan ko chan english semti koya pai chesta karuchan that's a problem that's a problem dekhon tu mo kai bi je mo aji apan ko dekha karuchi eta hochi prakruta odia mo dekha karuchi aji ta eta thik lagi ne apan kintu english ta semti ko aje i want to meet you today today i want to meet you so apan odia ta english re ko chan so don't try to translate it please my request i told many times in the past don't try to translate it whatever you are thinking in english oriya don't try to exactly translate to into english otherwise you are facing a lot of problems so right now this part is clear to everybody yes or no sir good evening yes, sir sir yeah, good i evening. have a doubt yeah. can i ask, ask you sir oh, of course why not sir uh yes sir actually sir you told uh, that uh, uh, what will be the sentence i want to know mane mu jani pare ki kali class kitte vele hobo jo apan kahile what is the uh, uh, sentence of that uh, word sir like this uh, when, okay well, suppose suppose you want to tell when yes sir. when will you conduct the class tomorrow yes yes or no this is a question yes or no yes, sir this is a question yes, when will you conduct the tomorrow this is a question suppose apan se ta kave i would like to mu jani pare ki may i know when you then what will write you tell me when you What did you say? Will, will, will you conduct the class? Conduct it. When you will conduct the class? Okay, I got it. Got it? Yes. Everybody. So this is something called the correct English you are supposed to learn, and this is the things I want to tell you. So if you are going to add some things before that, believe me, the second after when because it after the conjunction here, it is not a double H word right now. Here is the double H word. It is asked as a double H word. Upon the double H word, question is this is how it is done here right now. But whenever you have already made, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you questions like that? Because you are adding some clause before that. So whenever you are trying to add a sentence before that, here it becomes a conjunction. Would you believe that, everybody? Yes or no? That becomes a conjunction. And after the conjunction, how? आर पावर नहीं ना पावर उड़ीगला डबल एच वर्ड थी लवली अपन एंटी कोट ले बट हियर व्हेन डेजेंट वर्क आजे कंजक आई मीन आजे डबल एच वर्ड्स हियर इट इज अ कंजक्शन सो कंजक्शन मेंस व्हेन यू विल कंडक्ट द क्लास टुमारो लाइक दैट यू कैन से एनी मोर क्वेश्चन आज की एवरीबॉडी सर इस सेंटेंस से सब्जेक्ट कोटा रहे हो सब्जेक्ट let me tell you may i know when you will conduct the class tomorrow this is a question mark so before that suppose mu apan ko i would like to know when you are going to conduct the class tomorrow this is a code have i would like to know so what is the apan ko koi dili what is subject and what is sada mai the alochana kariya katha no because this is a grammar class apan jo question ne pachal le i don't want to discuss grammar here but let me tell you whenever you find what exactly you are going to find it out you have to find it out the verb so before verb everything becomes a subject and after verb everything becomes the predicate so predicate part upon janchanti verb sahita jota lage abu okay so you ask me this question in the uh, i mean in that particular class written class you are attending so i have the answer but i don't want to because you know this is my principle it is violating my principle yes, that I, okay so that is dekho mo grammar padhi mane grammar orientation as well that is not spoken english This is called spoken English. We are using double H words. We just think grammar does not have to be used because grammar is not essential. You know that everybody. Without grammar, you can speak English. Today, I am not using grammar here. Now, this part is clear. How double H words are used in a sentence? Everybody, it's clear yes, to everybody. Yes, sir. Yes. Have a thumbs up, mark. Thumbs up, please, everybody. 
बुझिपारे समस्ते ओके फाइन सो राइट नाउ दिस पार्ट इज क्लीयर नेक्स्ट टाइम व्वेन एवर यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक एनी यु नो आपण जो चाहूं गोटे सेन्टेन्स एंड यु नो स्पोकन इंग्लीश व्वेन एवर यू आर ट्राइंग टू लर्न समथिंग कल स्पोकन इंग्लीश स्पोकन इंग्लीश डब्ल्यूच वर्डस रवहार डिफरेन्ट हो जाए बेसिकली इट इज यूज एज ए कंजक्शन मोस्ट अफ द टाइम आपंटी आपंत कहुत सर मुझे जापर कि का कत क्लास अच्छी आपंत कहू ना आप एच एम को कहते एमती कहू ना सर का कत क्लास अच्छी दैट इज कल्ड हाउ यू एक्जाक्टली आर ट्राइंग टू आस्क ए क्वेश्चन सब आप गोटे जब रही रईट तो का चाहते सर मुझे सर के क्लास कंडक्ट हम मुझे जापर कि आप कहूना का कत मीट हम सर मुझे जापर कि सो अबियली आस्किंग फर द परमिशन मे आई नो रईड लाइक टू नो लाइक दैट so in that particular sentence how exactly you are going to write the second sentence you become lost and you feel that parav simti lagu simti lagai bi it gone for a toss believe me so that is one of the primary parameters you are supposed to stick to remember jetole apan wh words lagau chanti wh words wh words are reserved for only making question it apan jan chanti to frame question or to make question मे क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन तैयारी करने से रही बट व्वेन दे आर यूज इन ए कंजक्शन आउ एक्जाक्टली दे आर गोइंग टू डू दैट यू नो वेरी वेल ओके सो इफ यू आर गोइंग सपोज व्हाट आर यू डूइंग डुईंग कहूना मुझे जापर कि तुम कौन कर गोइंग टू से एटा को आप गोटे लोक को पचार चाहते लाइक नो मु जापर कि तुम कौन कर यू गोइंग टू से नो सो एक्जाक्टली हाउ एक्जाक्टली यूर गोइंग टू रिएक्ट दिचुएसन कैन यू टेल मी ये एनी बड़ी हाउ एक्जाक्टली मेकिंग मिस्टेक् सर मे एक्जाक्टली व्हाट यू आर डूइंग देखिले सर आप जो कहते हैं मिस्टेक कर बारंबार आलोचना करते मे आई नो व्हाट व्हाट आर यू डूइंग दैट्स एवरीबॉडी इज टेलिंग लाइक दिस बट हियर मे आई नो मुझे ना व्हाट पर दिस इज डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड दिस इज डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड सेन्टेन्स टा पजिट यू आर डुईंग नट आर यू डुईंग यू आर डुईंग व्हाट यू आर डुईंग मे आई नो व्हाट यू आर डुईंग So that is how you are going to ask. Okay. Are you getting my point, everybody? Yes or no? Any doubt, professor? Yes, Any yes, doubt? Yes. Everybody, yes, everybody. Yes, sir. Got they it. Got it, sir. The problem is that the moment they come to, it is much janichi. I have seen your writing also. Upon when I move back to the country, most of the time I chat with you. We are going to write. I will see upon your jeans. Show like. Anybody is free to talk with me. And the second one is what you are doing like that. Mo apna inti koi be mo jani porni toh me ghonte dehla kono korchu. Mo jani porni toh me kono korthilo. Toh me kono korthilo what are you doing or what you have been doing for one hour. But whenever you are trying to suppose apna boss ap acha apna you are teacher you are teacher lot of people are teacher here right apna jana teacher. गोटे पिला को आपन किसी लाइक नो एनीथिंग यू हैव गिवन एसे टू राइट समथिंग लाइक दैट ते पिला किछि लेखिनी आपन खाते से देख ब्लैंक देखले तो आपन यू हैव रीजन टू शाउट एट ओ तो जेतो आपन ताको रागो चैट एग्जैक्टली इज गोइंग टू टेल तो आपन कोन कोछनी तुमे घंटा टेला कोन करथिलो व्हाट हैव यू बीन डूइंग फॉर वन आवर For one hour, right? What have you been doing for one hour? Reason for that progression. Okay, so this is the question. But upon that, I want to know. 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 I want to know
तुम्हें घंटा डेला कौन कर राइट नाउ मेक इट फॉर्मेटिव सेंटेंस व्हाट यू हैव बीन डूइंग लाइक दैट दिस इज हाउ इट इज बीइंग सेड अपन एटा यूज करना थी यू हैव बीन यूजिंग एवरी डे बट विथ अ लॉट ऑफ मिस्टेक्स विथ अ लॉट ऑफ मिस्टेक्स सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस वाज द प्राइमरी क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू टेक फोर क्लासेस ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्लासेस चारिटा क्लास ए बदे वीक टा कवर करबा में and this is something called conjunction error free conjunction upon compound sentence tyar karibe like no you have been using a lot of things look apan nor byabahar karunanti ketala i have never seen or else byabahar karunanti otherwise byabahar karunanti you are using but you know all things are galat dekho dei apan kemdi byabahar karthile may i know what have you been doing there you are writing the same sentence just copy and paste no copy and paste is not going to work here you have to change the structure are you getting my point everybody is clear or any more doubt ask me do you know like how to use wh words as conjunction in the sentence yes or no if you have any doubt you can ask me right away because this is one of the very you know very important aspect of your spoken english it is spoken english are very important aspect because apan enti use korchanti apan dekho to apan boss ko apan direct pachar na apan tikke माने कौन टे पोलाइट वे पचारत पचारे मैडम कालीस दस टा बेल थे कि मैंने कौन आप कहते हैं डायरेक्ट को पचारे आर यू देयर नो इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट यार सर मुझे जानवाक चाहूँगी कल मुझे डेरेक्ट आसे चल कि लाइक दैट आपने कहीक आसर एम घर प्रोब्लेम अच्छी झीर एम प्रोब्लेम अच्छी हजबैंड एम अच्छे लाइक आप कहीक आस एक्जाक्टली इन दैट पर्टिकुला सेन्टेन्स तो हाउ एक्जाक्टली आर गोइंग टू रिएक्ट बिकॉज यू आर यूजिंग डब्ल एच वर्ड्स तो डब्ल एच वर्ड्स सहित आउ गए रिक्वेस्ट क्लज यूज करती तो यू आर यूजिंग ए रिक्वेस्ट क्लज विथ डब्ल एच वर्ड्स तो डब्ल एच वर्ड्स कनभर्ट इट सेल्फ टू ए कंजक्शन तो दैट इज द थिंग्स नाउ इट्स प्रेटी क्लीयर टू एवरीबडी आप बुझीपारे ना कि डाउट अच्छे आस्क मी बिकज दिस्ज भेरी इंपोर्टाट मै फ्रेंड्स देखो मो कोर्स मत गड़ेबार किसी प्रोब्लम ना बट आई व्वांट टू गिव यू द एक्चुअली भैल्यू अफ योर मनी लाइक लाइक एडे टाइम इन्वेस्टमेंट आराम से यू यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू लर्न फॉर द सेकंड टाइम फील दैट दिस इज़ लास्ट टाइम आई एम लर्निंग समथिंग इन माय लाइफ एंड थिंक लाइक दिस एंड लर्न इट आस्क मी एनी क्वेश्चन कहीं लड अफ थिंग्स आई एम गोइंग फर अदर थिंग्स अल्सो देर सो मेनी कंजक्शन ब्लंडर आई ब्लंडर सा and basically you are trying to face an interview and using like this then uh, you will be terminated straight away and this is the things you are supposed to rectify this is used for both written and spoken english but basically what happens we don't write this kind of things in the written english we always say in spoken english and spoken english is a bahut byavahar karanti it's a one of the vital parameters like upon the wh word can be transfer ho chiba convert itself to conjunction a new concept for you okay i am sure okay so any any more question to everybody ask me surekant sir suggest yes potaram potaram to ask me kisi doubt hoche potaram to ask me right away wh words kemte conjunction hochi if have any question